Oh. Hello friends, Sentinel H here, back with Shiva for the fusion plant build. Oh, what's left yeah, what's least. left of it. So, weird, uh, bad weirdness. So we've managed to, we think, repair the server to the point... Get that bat out of here. Uh, to the point where uh, it'll work again, because it, it was crashing worse, and then it just wouldn't come back. So what we did was I, I used MC Edit to go in and in really old version of MC Edit to go in and copy this build and then paste it into Gosh. a new world that was generated by Revolution so that we didn't have any weird Greg Tech artifacts left over from Shadow Chapter, okay? Mm -hmm. And when I did that, this is what happened. <laughs> a big hunk of my water feature was somehow the old version, and then sh uh, everything was... Weird. The, the 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 power room is is gone. It's empty like it was before we started it. And then water lovers, um, liquid nitrogen room is still there. And then the the water room was still there with what Soligo had done. And Shiva's reactor was still there technically. But then when I started the world up, Shiva's reactor was gone. All the rotary crafts and reactor craft stuff was gone. Mm -hmm. Replaced by weird block IDs. You may have noticed these weird little papery napkin looking smiley face floaty things that's what the carpenter's blocks were turned into everywhere there was a carpenter's block there's no one of these and we're gonna have to go in and fix it um this entire structure all of these laboratory blocks had been replaced with um this like pink quartz that was easier to re to fix um, I had to just use the replace command at MC edit when it, with the whole base selected and and replace all these blocks. The dome wasn't glass anymore. The dome had turned into something called a, a sigil. Let me find it. No. Um, a signum entia, which apparently is an automagic entity sensor. And every single block of the dome was replaced with those. So I had to go in and, and select it and replace it with glass. And I should have replaced it with Tinker's Construct Glass. But I was just so upset. I had to replace everything. And now we're going to have to rebuild everything. This stuff here, the block IDs were still there, but they were changed to something different. And I had to go in and replace all of these blocks over and over, running the replace command to replace them with the proper blocks. Um, down here you can see where the uh, the um, preheaters are gone. Technically, the data for these blocks is still there. It's just empty space at the moment. I mean, I could go into MC Edit and I could, I could have used the replace command on them, but it's probably easier just to rebuild it. Uh, if I go into Shiva's room, you can see that the um, ra railcraft tanks had been replaced with honey blocks, so he had he has honey tanks, and the lights uh, everywhere there was a decorative lamp replaced with a geolizer, um, and the reactor gone. Technically, these blocks are still here in MC Edit. There are blocks here. But they're replaced with, I guess, unused block IDs. It's just crazy stuff. And of course, it was it, it would have been ridiculous trying to go in and use the replacer on all of this stuff. I didn't know it was in this reactor, so she was just going to rebuild it. But technically, there are blocks here. So you're going to have to probably fill this re area where your reactor was with dirt and then get rid of it. Just to clear out that data, because I don't know if that's going to mess with stuff later on online. This build has just been ridiculous from start to finish. Why is this light corner so weird? The light in this corner is really weird. Hmm. I, I just can't... It's dark. Because now we don't have permanent day for some reason. But uh, uh, It's just been one big blech after another. Yeah, this is what I did to the power room. What power room? It's just gone. Ugh. Oh, and I haven't even showed you one of the best things. Let's go into the water. Oh, yeah, here. It replaced the power wires with giant sequoia wood. Terrific. And then when we go in here, we can see that the high-pressure turbine, the most annoying thing in the whole place to build, I think, was replaced with carpenter's blocks. So I couldn't even use the, uh, the block replace thingy because they're all the same block. And apparently the, uh, the, um... Induction motor was replaced with zebra wood wood. Very annoying. This whole thing has been one massive annoyance. These why aren't these working? 
Why is that? What? No. The lights weren't working. Had to. I have to go in and break them and reset the lighting engine. Oh, th were we actually going to place replace the lighting with the wireless transmitter? No, no, no. Thing? I have a uh, a better thing to do. Um, yeah. One of the um, subs gave me a good idea, and I've been doing it. So, if you would, Shiva, will will follow me. I will show you the good idea. At least it's as good. I can find you. It's as good as I think it is. I'm over here, Sheaves. How did you go through the glass? Just broke, Don't break a hole anyway. in my glass dome. <laughs> you're gonna be replacing an aim. Oh, you're crazy, Sheaves. Okay, so follow me. I gotta remember where it is. I think it's over here. Probably wrong. It's probably not over here. No, it's not over here. Where is it? It's over here. Yeah. It's right over here. This, Sheaves, is how we're going to light this place. The painting machine will let us paint glowstone blocks to look like any other block. Yeah, but true, but glowstone blocks can cause lag if you put too many down. Glowstone blocks? I have never experienced lag of glowstone. Well, I I had one vanilla. One time I was helping someone build a, build a server map, and he placed down an entire roof and floor a of glowstone. Map. Dropped. Server, server like lobby mat area. Okay. He placed placed nothing but glowstone floor and glowstone right. roof. Well, and it lagged and lagged. The well, I have out. perfect FPS here, and I've never been able to say that before. This lapis celestis is actually painted glowstone, and I like it. And unless we end up, all this orange stuff is is painted glowstone, so I don't think we're gonna have a problem with it. Oops. But if we do have a problem with it, I'll keep that in mind, and we'll do something different. We'll replace it with regular lapis celestis and use other. But for the moment, it works. Now these are all providing light. Like they were before, and they look amazing. Oh my goodness! I, get... I have to replace all of these little ghosty doll-looking things with carpenter's blocks. I'll rebuild the um um the injectors things. Whatever they're called. The what? I re I've the already heaters. oh yeah the, the the I've already rebuilt the plasma injectors. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, you can go ahead and rebuild yeah, the, the hydrogen preheaters. Yeah. I'm fine. I, you can just Google it. I pretty much have it memorized anyway. If oh, you want me to build one. No, I, I know how to build. I was just wondering where the blocks were. I wasn't sure where they were in the in the reactor craft so. How did I have these oh. pillars at the bottom? Did I have these? Um, you had them like um yeah. Or did I have them, like, like um, that? Like, you had it like that, and then it came up, and then pointed out, I believe. Oh come on, go proper. Let's see. I'm just wants to build one of these. So injector base. No, let's get you out of the way for the time being. Why are you Being using injector blocks. base? Oops, wrong. Thing. Sorry. <laughs> you, you, you need to be using preheater blocks. I was like, wait, what is he doing? That's not a thing. <laughs> housing, corner housing, base. You need the um, thermal installation. You need the corner housing. Yeah, I know. Base. I know. I, I know. I was, I was thinking about the injectors, trust me. Yeah, let's see. The preheater goes in the middle, the actual preheater machine itself. Yeah, I was trying to remember what, what it was called. Yep, you also need a second lens. There are actually two lenses right next to each other. Inside? There's one inside, one in the wall. Then the preheater goes there, then you surround it with more uh, insulation, insulation, and then cover it in insulation. And then that, then you actually, um, that's the end of that, and you cap it off with a 3x3. Three three. There it is. So there's the lines, but where's the heater at in the list? Maybe other here. La 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 la. Da, da, I hear your hydrogen preheater. Yep. There we go. There's da, that. Da, da, is, it, da, da, is it supposed da. to connect? What? Yeah, it is, is supposed it to connect. To you can't use bedrock pipes. Well, maybe I can use bedrock pipes on the outside till it comes in. Yeah, but the actual machine either. needs to be liquid pipes. Which probably means they have to extend at least into the wall because those were also pipes. Oh, but you could tr try that, but on top of it has to be magnetic containment pipe. Yeah, I know that. That I know. Blom, blom, blom. Blom, blom, blom. Oh, man, how much of this can I take? It's just crazy, Sheaves. It's just crazy. And these... Error, unnamed from Forestry. Those were like, those were, I believe, the um, 
Oh man, Shiva had the sneezies. I thought I muted myself. I probably didn't. It did. Sorry. It just there was like a crackle beforehand. Mm. It's interesting. I think faces on top, and then followed by the other thing. No, not faces. Oops. This is where the corners go for the third level up. Oh no, wait. Do you put faces there? I'm not Try, sure. Actually, yeah, while. go go ahead and... Actually, let me see. I have the book on yeah. me. Let's read put, it. It doesn't... It put faces there. Yeah, because I was, I was thinking of putting, like... Actually, I believe I should be putting these here. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Edges. Edges go in the edges. Here, I'll, I'll bust out the corners. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have edges in your edges. And then on top, it's edges at the four... And the four cardinals, and then... Well, it's corners and the cor yeah edges there and then corners. So now you just need to replace these corners with edges. And there's actually one face we can't get to, so I'll go the other side and bust through the wall to do it. Yeah. Here on the uh, block, pick your edges. I'll go fix the one on the inside. Is it, are you done? Um, Did I miss anything? Ah, well, the last time I built this, I had to like take the lens out and pop it back in to get. It. Oh, it's because you still have bedrock pipe in the in in the walls. Yeah, that's probably why. Use liquid pipe. Kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, bedrock pipe is seems like a better choice for building this thing. You know what I mean? Extend that out one. Yes, I'm doing. Hmm. Um. Maybe, it's not, maybe not the feces on no, top. No. Maybe it's like use a, um use insulation. Actually, there. maybe yeah. That's, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, it's probably insulation. And then the edges inside. and corners. Oh, bye. There you go. There we go. One down, three to go. Spike. Yeah. It looks like I have this little marker here, even though it's kind of like a bug thing with these stairs things, but it kind of makes helps. What? Out, you know what I mean, if you look at the ground. Oh no, no, that's where the um, that's where the the factory block hazard blocks were. Uh, they got replaced with uh, red Portuguese pavement stairs. Yeah. Well, it kind of yeah. actually helps. This goes to show you the like weird this. decisions that happened. MC. Yeah. It was very strange. I mean, I know MC Edit was never really meant for this, but usually it keeps the block data the same with when it Oops. when it has future blocks. Um, this time it did not. I actually had to. Well, I think it's because it was all shadow chapter IDs. That's what could be why. It was craziness. All I had to do, well, I I I had to um, turn off Buildcraft and Botania. I mean, and Bibliocraft. And then load the world, and then have it delete the blocks, and then turn them back yeah, on. Yeah, because you can under a similar bug I found, where sometimes I actually had a thing. It didn't cause my world to crash down. It was causing a lot of lags in my world, which is <clears throat> before it went bye-bye. Right. It was basically just sitting on top of my uh, my house, and floating like one or two blocks in the air, and I have no, no, no reason to be there. Interesting. Causing issues. Causing issues, always causing issues. We need to get game night up and running one day. I need to, we, I need to start streaming again. Yeah, you guys, that's the thing. I want to start. I'm gonna start streaming it again, and I'm just gonna stream whatever the crap I want to play that day. So, we need to record FTD and Space Engineers soon. Yeah, that's one thing we need. To I'm quite busy this Saturday. I'm gonna be gone a lot. Oh look, it Doing replaced what? the auroral battery with Wengewood, fireproof Wengewood. That was an odd choice by the game. Actually, I should leave mm -hmm. these blocks here. Because that's where, that marks where these machines were in case we want to do it the same way again. What were these blocks? These blocks were a um, resistor. Probably a relay for switching. No, power. no, no. These two blocks were the motor... No. No, it was the resistor and 
Uh, the motor. Mess up. Resistor motor. And then, yeah, 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 resistor motor, bevel gear, and then a thing on top. Okay, let me go ahead and, and do that. Hmm, this is weird. Do, 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 do. Let me mess that up. That's the relay. That's oh, there, that's resistor, right. Resistor, okay. motor. <laughs> there we go. Four done. <clears throat> do, 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 Good job, Chiefs. My mom was watching uh, Christmas Carol. I like that movie a lot. There's like so many of them. Do you watch uh, Christmas Carol at Christmas? To be fair, I've watched enough Christmas movies where every time when I see one during Christmas time, I just change the channel looking for something else. <laughs> like, I really like Christmas Carol, though. Um, you know, the Ebenezer Scrooge and that. I really like that story. It's like one of my favorites. Mm. We've got so many versions. We collect versions of that movie because there are, I mean, of that story because there are a million of them. We have a musical version and we have... Uh, uh, my favorite one is is uh, the Christmas Carol starring Patrick Stewart as Scrooge. That's really good. Um, oh, that one I believe I did see. Because he it, he it stays very true to the book, and uh, Patrick Stewart actually spent years uh, doing a one man show of uh, Christmas Carol, so he knows the character um, very well and, and does it very well because he had so much experience being Ebenezer Scrooge. Mm -hmm. So this bevel gear needs to be. Uh, input on the west and output up. So I need, I need to ask how if you disable the iodine cannon because if we had that going here, it would be much easier because we won't have to worry about the rain and the sun setting how much. Ah, uh, rain will be fine. Well, at least the sun setting issue. How would the iodine cannon help with that? Well, if you put sawdust in it, that actually triggers the sun what? effect on it. Sawdust into the I never knew that. Oh, read the book. Read the read, read the. That doesn't sound like something Reiko would do, but I guess he did. <laughs> it says in the book. Trust me, it says in the book. Well, these need to be input on the east as well. Yeah, just look in look in the book, and you'll see what okay. it says. <laughs> I'll check it. Let me grab the book. Cooking for blockheads. Rotary craft. What section is it under? Uh, I believe it's under utility. I believe that will work. Utility. Aerosolizer. Block rams. Chunk loader, which looks really cool. No, it's not. Let me see if I can find it real quick then. Do, do cosmetic. It's under cosmetic. Silver eye dot cannon. Yeah. Used to control the weather. The next page is what recipes you need to trigger certain Sun, events. sawdust, thunder, redstone, and super storm. A super storm? Yeah, I tried triggering that, but for some reason I can't get the iron can the fire. Sounds like a bad thing. idea. <laughs> well, why not try I don't it? want a super storm. It'll be like, it might be like Dragon Age with that storm of the century. Did you ever play Dragon Age, the original one? Um, no, I tried to play Origin. That's about it. Well, yeah, Dragon Age Origins. That was the first one. I believe that's what it's called. I just know, no, I got for free from EA. Right. Um, there was uh, a combo spell you could use if, if, if you had to. It took like, uh, it took two spellcasters to to do it. So one of them needed one of them needed to have the the high level um like what was it Blizzard spell or something like that? I think it was Blizzard. Um, and then the other one needed to have the high level like thunder spell for the start of the thunderstorm. Um, because what you do Can I stop talking there? Yeah, I was uh, fiddling with an elevator. Oh crap. I didn't want these to be on what? the same side. I'm gonna have to move that. Okay, I can get the, this I for some reason I can't get this last project injector to form. I don't know why. I think it seems right. Have you done something incorrectly? No, I copied Actually, copy actually these should be in the same section. That way, if you want to go down, and if you want to go up from to the control room, you're in the same area.
Check, check. Yeah, that, that, that's check, actually a good thing. Check. Wait. Let me come and see. But, um, you, uh, so the, the one person had to be able to cast the thunder spell. The other person needed to be able to cast the blizzard. You've got edges, you've got corners where you should have edges, Sheaves. Oh, oops. And then, uh, one of them needed to also have... There you go. Four done. Right, one of them needed to also have the amplified spell casting mode. And so you'd have one of them cast the, uh, blizzard or thunder. Then the other one would have to turn on amplified casting and then over the same AoE they had to cast the the thunder or blizzard whichever one didn't get cast and that those two spells would combine and form the storm of the century which was an AoE storm with such a massive AoE there was almost no area in the game except certain exterior areas that were large enough that uh you the AoE wouldn't hit you cuz it was an absolutely massive area of effect that did ridiculous damage and it was just really crazy cool looking, but it was impractical as all hell to cast it. But I liked that. I you couldn't cast it in in the Broodmother's uh fight, even though it would have been great because the room is too small and you would kill yourself doing it. But I still had my people learn the right things so that I could use it. And uh I was I was you know what is this boar shield? Wait, is that for the or sonic what? boar shield block? Is that for the sonic boar? Is that we? Is that what you have to do to stop it from blowing itself up? Oh, whatever. Um, I'm looking for the dew point aggregator. Where is it? In the list. There it is. Dew point aggregator. I just gotta place these back down. Oh sheaves! Oh sheavy sheaves! Sheavy the sheaves! This craziness has been very crazy. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys appreciate the crazy horribleness that we go through for you guys. This is all for you because I wanted to get this build done. I wanted to actually get this up for you. So it's been a massive pain in the butt, but it's been worth it. I need to connect these together. Uh, and the only good way to do place to do that at is going to be... Um, back here, or, no, right, uh, wait, can I do that? If I place a block here, what, ah! Okay, now the silver hot dying can is working, it should work sometime soon. If I put blocks here, will that stop the elevator? No, because it goes through blocks, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's fine. So there we go, both sides are connected See. together. I got those back up, now I, I would have to put, I have to put cooling fins on them. Okay, everybody. Everybody. Uh, that's watching this. There's an amazing thing on YouTube you need to watch immediately after this video, of course. Uh, there's a, a new comedy uh, series that's going to be produced on, for YouTube. It's called Driver. And the very first like episode is up. And it's got Macaulay Culkin in it. And it's amazing. With uh, Macaulay Culkin acting as the future self, the future grown-up self of, of Kevin McAllister. And, and he's really messed up and screwed up because of his uh, traumatic childhood. <laughs> it's amazing. And fun fact, apparently, uh, John Hughes wanted to make... He's the director of Home Alone, if people out there don't know. Uh, John Hughes had pitched... A, a third. I don't know if this is true. Actually, I think it's true. It might not be true because some. Who knows if you can? How? Uh, what? You know, never trust a commenter on YouTube. Maybe this isn't true. But if it would, if it is true, it would be absolutely amazing. But he said that. Not not driver by the way. Driver is a real thing. Uh, this was a comment that was left on that video. Um, uh, he said that apparently John Hughes had pitched a th the third Home Alone movie, but they uh, uh, they didn't like it. Basically, what this guy said is that John Hughes wanted the third movie to uh, take place many years later. Kevin has grown up, and because of his incredibly traumatic childhood, he has, and the fact that he was, you know, troublemaker to begin with, uh, he has ended up in, in jail. Uh, at the same time, the uh, Sticky Bandits have gotten out of jail. Uh, they've been released, they've done their time, they've decided that crime doesn't pay, and they've turned over a new leaf. So, Harry and Marv. 
now have uh, families and uh, children. They have steady jobs and they've turned their lives around. Um, Kevin then decides, uh, while Kevin's in prison, he decides that uh, Harry and Marv are the cause. <laughs> Oops. The cause of all of his of his terrible life and all of his oh, suffering. Oh, What? Look outside. I am outside. I think I what did you do, Sheaves? What's going on? I think I triggered the super storm. What, what, what makes you say that? I'll, I'll see if it'll work, and all of a sudden there's lightning over there. Shiva, I swear, if a any. tornado comes <laughs> comes around and destroys this building... Um, no, I think it's just causing a lot of lightning I don't strikes see, nearby. If, if, a, if, a, if, a, if a tornado comes and destroys my building, you are going to be in a world of hurt. <laughs> because then we'll have to do all of this over again. Because... Yeah, let me see if we can put some sawdust in here and see if I'll trigger. Trigger the sun with sawdust. That's still really weird. It kind of makes sense because sawdust can, is used to absorb... How does that make stuff. sense? How does it make sense that putting sawdust will cause it to become daytime? I don't know. It doesn't make sense, Sheaves. But anyway, uh, uh, so Kevin decides while he's in prison that Harry and Marv are the cause of all of his misfortune. And so when he gets out, or he escapes from prison, I think the guy said, and then goes after Harry and Marv. And so in this movie, Kevin's actually the bad guy. Harry and Marv are actually the uh, the good guys. And obviously, uh, it was turned down. But is doesn't that sound like an amazing movie? I wasn't paying attention. Shiva, you're like the worst. But for you guys listening, because I know you pay attention to me, uh, doesn't that sound like an amazing movie? I think it totally does. I think this thing's triggering. I really like I Home Alone. Do you like Home Alone, Sheaves? I Home Alone, a hey, iffy. Yeah, not your favorite thing. I always liked the Home Alone movies. Girl, I grew up with them. The one that I like the one where you lit in New York. Yeah, better. the second the second one. Yeah, I believe that's. Yeah, what yeah, it was. I like both of them, but yeah, the second one is really good. I think the second one took what was good about the first one and improved upon it in in many ways. Mm-hmm. Of course, it, more you could uh, kind of see the contrivances a bit more, but you know the contrivances of of Home Alone are are, are what make it funny because Home Alone is completely a, a completely ludicrous premise. Mm-hmm. Like from beginning to end, there's just a bunch of ludicrous stuff that has to happen. But that's the fun thing about uh, you know comedy movies; they can be whatever they want. Like when the police officer comes to Kevin's house in the first movie, there's no way. They know that 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 he's there because his mom has said that that there's there. There's no way the cop would have just rung the bell a couple of times, said there's no one here, tell the mom to count her kids again. Like that's that wouldn't happen. <laughs> but anyway, mm-hmm. I love Home Alone, and that video just really took me back. So go go watch Driver, with Macaulay Culkin as a crazy person, and uh, or don't yes do it because it's amazing. Macaulay Culkin as a crazy person is is fantastic because he he has the perf- he has the look of a crazy person. We actually have a I would like we to... actually have a musical version of the Christmas Carol. It stars Albert Finney as Scrooge, where he actually goes to hell. It's the only Scrooge I've ever seen where he goes to hell. He after uh after he sees his own grave, the ghost of Christmas yet to come causes him to fall down the hole, and he ends up in hell where Marley shows him to his office, which is a carbon copy of Scrooge's office, only it's freezing cold. And, and he and Scrooge is now basically uh, taking Cratchit's place, working in a super cold office in hell. And then the devils show up. Marley is like, I'm sorry that your chain wasn't ready for your arrival. It's so big they had to take on. That's how he said it. It's so big. They had to take on extra devils at the foundry. And then they start bringing it in. And it's this massive, like, titanic anchor chain. And they come in, and they wrap him in it, and he, like, can't even move. He's, like, tied to a post. And then he wakes up uh, tied to it, uh, tangled in his bed uh, sheets that are, like, tied up in a rope and tying him to the, the post of his bed. <laughs> it was very weird. Mm-hmm. I like that though. It's got some cool songs in it. Like one of the funniest songs in that movie, and one of my favorite songs in musicals is a song called "Thank You Very Much." So you know how in the story, 
uh, the ghost of Christmas yet to come shows Scrooge how everybody is happy about his death. Well, in this movie, he really shows him. Because the dude that owes Scrooge the most money out of everyone in town starts up a song when he finds out that Scrooge is dead called Thank You Very Much. Where he's actually singing it to the coffin. At one point, he starts dancing on top of his coffin as, they tra- as it is transported through, down, through the streets. They're singing, thank you very much. That's the nicest thing that anyone's ever done to me for me. Referring to Scrooge's death. And it was very macabre, but also very funny because it was such an upbeat song. <laughs> and Scrooge doesn't notice his coffin, so he's following them around and he's singing it with them because, you know, they can't see him. And uh, it was funny because uh, when he first started saying, they first started saying how much they, they appreciated him, uh, Scrooge is standing in front of his office facing away from it. And he's like, I'll remember this till my dying day. And then the coffin comes out. <laughs> oh, man, it's funny. I like that. <laughs> and of course, then at the end of the movie, he reprises the song. And this time it's it's good because uh, he's forgiven everyone's debts and they're all happy with him. Although it doesn't seem like the best business decision. Forgiving the debts outright seems like a bad move. But he's nicer now, so I guess that's what nice people do. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was pretty a pretty evil dude. In fact, the Ghost of Christmas Present says that... Uh, uh, he calls him a weird little man and in his song saying how there's no one worse than Ebenezer Scrooge you know I was I was in the comment section once on uh, they were talk somebody was talking about Christmas Carol they didn't like a Christmas the Christmas Carol they said that it didn't they said that it, uh, the ghost shouldn't have helped Scrooge he was super bad and they should have helped somebody that was nicer he didn't seem to get it because by by changing turning Scrooge around they actually helped out a ton of people because now he'll be nicer and won't like be super mean to them when they owe him money. So they didn't get it. Although I've recently discovered my new favorite song, which is uh, Muse Uprising for you guys at home. Uh, it's an old song, but I was I never had listened to Muse before. But a friend of mine, oh, that's what it a friend of mine, it's her favorite song. We were listening to it in the car after we went to lunch. Remember, Shiva, nothing can be uh, stuck into this chamber. Well, somebody's going to have to. Nothing there, can be this, stuck into this well, chamber. There's just enough me, room for the turbine. Well, there has to be. I have to put something in here because basically, this is. If you're looking at the chunk layout, it's much different than what it was before. Before, that room had its own chunk. Now I have to do it differently. Well, then I'll have Haggle move this freaking building or something. I don't know. You can't stick anything in here. That's where the turbines go. I mean, why do you need, like, eight turbines or some whatever you're going to do? Like, 16? Where are you going to do 16 turbines? 16 turbines. turbines. That's how much turbines this faci- the, the fully, the four-injector fusion reactor can support. Well, I am going to be putting something here because that's where I'm thinking of moving, like, the starter turbine. Where I you can't. That's where the high-pressure turbine goes. Are you not that's... listening to me, Sheaves? Yeah. That is not negotiable. The design comes before the functionality in this case, which I know doesn't make sense in a real fusion reactor, but this isn't free out. This yeah, is but this, that place is right. No, that's too does this wide. look longer than it is wide to you? What does? This area, this thing here. One, two... Oh, of course it does, because uh, I made it one block too long. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. Whatever, we're out of time. So let's go back to the center and sign out. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. This has just been one big headache after another. But hopefully we're past massive headaches. Knock on wood. Uh, the wood. Well, we haven't crashed the entire time. No, it thing. seems like we're stable. So all this work was for something. We're now stable now. Yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, you're on my spot. This is your spot. Yeah, because right below you, the rap. Oh, I don't okay. really care, she's. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm just so happy we didn't crash at all. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, we're, we're, we're gonna get, we're basically getting back to where we were, but now we're crash free mm-hmm. again. Um, which will be better. F- so far. Which will be better for all of you. Don't say so far, she's. We have to be optimistic and don't jinx it. So anyway, um, I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.